So hey guys, an update on my uh, grape solar setup. Um, what I'm doing is I mounted the uh, charge controller to the board there and the uh, power inverter is there. Um, I have two cutoff switches, one for the power battery to the power inverter and one for the panels to the charge controller that I am waiting to get tomorrow. Those are the wires from the for the battery to the charge converter and then the wires from the charge converter to the batteries excuse me the the um, power inverter to the batteries those are size 10 I believe um, and then there's the connections these connections will link up to the charge controller that came with the kit and these here although I have extra ones these will link up to the solar panels what I don't have or what I didn't have was cables that went from the solar panel to the hookups um, to the charge controller so I did buy those those are actually energy in addition I also bought, bought mounts because these don't come with mounts I bought mounts for the um, solar panel to mount to the uh, rooftop of my shed so those I've mounted on to the uh, first panel and this is the second panel and what the reason for this video is not to really talk about that stuff is but just to show how good Grape Solar packages their stuff. Um, if you saw the video before, you notice how it was damaged, but nothing inside here was damaged. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this box so you guys can see the um, how they set this up. Let me put the camera down. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, you can see that, and you can see just exactly how good the packaging is. Uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll just open it up so you guys can see. There you guys. So what I did was I took a exacto knife, um, a box cutter really, and opened these, opened this box up. And as you can see, you have the panel here, and then you have another corrugated piece of cardboard there protecting the screen. This was more cardboard protecting the edge in there. Um, so that works out rather well. And like anybody else trying to do this with one hand, it's not going to work. Hold on a second. Okay. Let me just put that there. Set up my stand. There we go. There goes the panel, and each panel comes with a connection guide, four-page connection guide. Um, and there's the hookups. What's really nice about these hookups, of course, is that they uh, each one's labeled positive and negative. And then uh, there's all the information. I think you can see it there. They're 100 watt panels, 18 volt maximum power output. Uh, maximum power point current is 5.56 open current voltage is 221.9 short uh, current correct a uh, short circuit correct is 6.31 amps um, temperature is uh, 45 degrees normal operating and then all that other goes weight is about 19.6 pounds maximum system voltage is 600 volts uh, fuse rating is 10 amps so on and so forth so since I'm putting two of these together if I want to put a fuse on these I would use a 20 amp fuse and um, on the power inverter side I would use a 30 amp fuse so this is what they look like um, they're pretty clean <coughs> and what I will do is I there's that corrugated piece inside the box I'll take that out to protect the panels and prevent them from gen generating any power. Um, the other panel had glue on the. I'll put some tape on that to hold that down. And then what happens here is that the um, is that the uh, connectors to the roof connect right here. So those are energy um, panel adapters, and I'll show you on the other panel what they look like. I'm just getting everything set up so that this weekend, since I have a three-day weekend, I'll spend it putting this stuff together and putting it on. Um, like I said, I'm 
setting up the mounting board for this. The reason why I got this, this was like five bucks at Home Depot. So I got, it was, it's really too big. I needed something for a 24 inch, 26 inch center. So um, yeah, so I ended up getting this for five bucks. Uh, the rent, what is this? The uh, solar power 200 watt kit. Um, I actually got it 20% off. So it was like just under 600 bucks. It was like 580 or 540, something like that at Home Depot. I actually ordered it online. So I um, saved myself a couple hundred dollars getting it. Now it's right back up to 600 and change. So, uh, yep. So I just wanted to show you what this stuff looks like as I take it up step by step. And, um, uh, as I put it together, uh, you guys will see. So the next video will probably be of me showing you the panels with the mounts and the board with the quick connects, the quick disconnects. Um, the batteries I'm using, I'll show you a video of that. I got a plastic box to put them in, but they are two six volts that I'll, um, series in to a 12 volt that I got from Advanced Auto, their auto card or something like that. But anyway, um, there was a story with them and I'll tell you that when I show you the batteries. Um, so I hope everything else is going well. I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao, bye. Hey guys, uh, Van Slam here again. I'm going to just show you the mounting bracket kit that comes from uh, Renegy for the uh, panels that I got. It comes with four mounting brackets, one for each corner. And then it comes with this, the nuts and bolts to mount it to the panel. And then the screws, the self-tapping screws to mount it into the um, roof. I did get some special putty to put down and then screw these in so I won't have to worry about leaking into the interior of my shed, but it's a shed anyway, so what are you going to do? And then these are the mounting instructions, it's not really too hard, self-explanatory. Um, yep, so there you go. Um, I'll put these on and I'll put this with my other panel and then you'll be able to see what both panels look like with the uh, mounting brackets on. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, Ben Slam here. And here are the two golf cart batteries that I bought for my solar system. Um, they are, as you can see here, they're AutoCraft golf cart, um, part number GC2. And let's see, Amp hours is 216 amp hours, 115 minutes at 75 amps. So um, I got two of them. This one has a sticker of 115. This one has a sticker of 1214. Um, the story that I wanted to tell you was the first battery I bought had a sticker of 1112. So the battery was, uh, wow, two and a half years old. And then I took my um, hydrometer to test and it didn't even register. So I went back and I got this battery and then I purchased this battery. And these batteries are reading over 1300 on the hydrometer. Um, I'm gonna hook these up in a series to get them up to 12 volts. And I'll be using this uh, four gauge cable to do that up uh, the negative end to the positive end here and then using the negative and positive to the system over there so um, once again I bought these at, at advanced auto I'd advise you to be very careful make sure you check your stickers to make it a recent battery these by the way are holding a great charge um, they're over I forgot it was over three volts uh, over six volts a piece I think it's six point four I forget I forget what it was, but they're um, they're they're in great shape. Um, when I put them together, I'll you know get over 12, um, which of course you should be getting more than that. I think it should be 13 or something like that. Um, but anyway, they should be hold they hold the charge well. Um, as I said, as the with with using the hydrometer, they're pretty much at the top of, of condition there. Um, and these are pretty easy to open. You know, you just flip that, and then they open up, and you just push them down. Is really better than having those individual caps, I think, anyway. Um, and then, this is going to be my battery box. I just got a clear plastic thing from Home Depot. I was going to get it from uh, Target, um, but this is this was like eight bucks. 
So I'm going to put the batteries in there. I can see I'm going to vent, put a hole in there to put a vent tube that goes out through the uh, top of the um, shed that I put it in. But in the meantime, I'll probably just leave them open. I'll probably leave it open because I don't really have anything to, uh, to vent it out yet. And there's my baby. Um, yep. And uh, I also got some of these clips, uh, these wire clips for mounting this, for mounting the wires on the um, board inside. So I'll be, uh, this will allow me to uh, set them up. Actually, let me take them inside. It'll allow me to uh, set those up when the wires come in from the um, array and for the battery and for the power converter and all that good stuff. So once again, those are the batteries. They are the AutoCraft from Advance Auto Golf Cart GC2 batteries. Um, yep, and that'll give me my first 12 volts. So uh, looking forward to finishing this off. See you later.